hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. We're heading out to the Groundbreaker. Wait, am I actually at the Groundbreaker? We are at the Groundbreaker. So, all we have to do is just pick the party. It's gonna be Parvati and Felix. Let's go. The centers in our midst. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Yeah. Your way of life should speak for itself. You shouldn't need to destroy anybody. I know this could be... You know, you, you can go into the specifics, you know. But... You don't have to kill people. Like, if they are, like, going... Or about, if they just want to kill you, like, okay. Okay, I get that. But if they just believe in di different stuff, and that... Diff that uh, threatens your way of life. Yeah. That's no good. I'm not gonna sell out Phineas Vallas. What's the point? I like him. Although... He's being careful. But I can't fault him for that. So we might be able to buy some water here. This is Step a door. What'll it be? I uh, that's trade. Nothing you need and everything you want. Alright. Ah, uh, what is this? <clears throat> more like No. More like nothing I want. Well we can pick up Adreno, I guess that's nice. This is just old. It's just so long to even read it. Range weapon spread. Uh, range weapon sway. It's just like, okay. Like, I, I don't care about it. And you can't mark it as permanent junk. Like, I'm never gonna use this. Okay, we can buy the dehydrated water. It's, it becomes super cheap. Look at 65% discount. I'm pretty sure that I can boost this further by putting on uh, dialogue gear. It's a little annoying because when I put in the dialogue gear... Now, dialogue skills. Okay, only, only one of them needs to be uh, replaced. <laughs> what? Can you even go above 100? What the fuck is this? 107 persuasion if it isn't my favorite friendly freelancer I, I don't i don't think it works what ain't i got i think we were at no it worked we went from 65 to 67 percent discount holy shit at that point i can just buy stuff and sell it for money let's see so i bought the water for like 14. am i am i wrong about that so I can buy a pipe patch for 1303. I wonder if uh, this can be abused. I don't want to. Oh no 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 no! No, we can't. We cannot abuse this. The sell value is just crap. We we can sell it for higher than the sell value, but yeah, this game is is well done, is uh well made. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, like you, you just cannot abuse it. This would be a, like a very dumb like oh, okay, I don't know. I don't <laughs> Okay, that's, so that's interesting because the sell value of water is free and we can sell it for for like 20% more That's how it works now and this doesn't go up. This, well doesn't go up uh, by uh, my persuasion seemingly uh, I, I do have the skill that increases the vendor buying price So it goes up a little bit uh, but mostly we are affecting the, the selling price by a lot. Uh, but the the average, uh, the base value of this dehydrated water, I believe, that I, uh, but the base value of this in the machines is 50. Is 50. So that's, that's quite a lot. That's 16 times the 16 times 16, 6. Times the cost of the sell value. Uh, 
Terra 1. <laughs> I don't want to get busted for stealing that poster. I guess watching at the poster? Oh my fucking god. I'm going. If the poster is the entertainment, I'm not gonna steal that. Can I just steal from you again? Alright. Hushing up. I don't know. It seems like we can only steal from characters once. Good to see you again. Or at least. Uh, let's see what you got. So let's go by category. Yeah, that's decent. Four hundred eighty flamethrower. This is not very impressive. Uh, I say. Ah, uh, no. No. So these have... These are basically as cheap as, as I can... I can't get it. What is this? Changes the damage type to deal and ray damage, but lowers the... halves the damage. Wow. Some of these improvements are pretty pricey. Weapon parts, but I don't really need the weapon parts, but this is technically a, a cheaper way to get weapon parts. Wait, no. We pay 40 for... Uh, for, for weapon parts. And many times, I get 4 weapon parts when, when I, I scrap things. That's why I was counting with 40. Weight to value ratio. Holy shit. I have uh, so many guns. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna use the flamethrower. Plasma launcher. Yeah, we're not using that. Not using the tech shotgun at all. I think I have another one equipped. We are not using melee weapons. Ah, fuck. I wish it was a little bit more... Uh, res yeah, look at that. We can only scroll by pages. We can't just like scroll by uh, lines, so... Which is a little annoying. Oh my god, light assault rifle? No, I'm ne not selling these, look at this! Yeah, we gotta sell some of these pistols. And and it's worth selling the pistols instead of scrapping them. Auto mech pistols, but they're crap. And the old reliable is crap now. You can sell some more pistols. Actually, this is for some reason cheaper. Why is that? Unclear. I can sell the better ones, I guess. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of these light assault rifles. At least... I, I might even use an extra one myself. And change their uh, damage type. To suit more scenarios. Uh, I don't think we use that. Uh, Knight of this. I can just get rid of some helmets. Uh, we don't need that. Tech skills. We're not using that right now. Wow, we should sell some crap here. Oh yeah, uh, sell all the junk, that's for sure. But what about these things? Okay, let's just go over once. <clears throat> Adreno, useful. Zero G brew, increases my personality. And that's it. That doesn't seem that good. Maybe we sell all. Oh, what's this? Companion ability cooldowns. I never use this. And that lasts... 15 seconds. Mind attributes. This is... 
this I think this counts as, as, as a, like a proper drink. Personal attributes. I think we can sell this. Apple juice. I think this is just a regular drink. Range weapon spread. Increases spread. This just this is just crap. Uh, this is just crap. Uh, even more crap. TTD dilation recharge rate. Uh, this is trash. Crit damage. Bonus extra headshot. Uh, okay, this is usable. Ambidextrine. Uh, arena time. This is what was said, what was like called something useful. Increases movement speed, attack speed, only with melee weapons. All attributes by 1, walk speed minus 10 it, when we crash. So this is just not worth using. Harmful status effect duration. Uh, but this, most of the status effects are permanent. And some of them last like 10 seconds. So uh, I think we're just gonna sell this. A genuine fermented 100% uh, mock apple. Again, this increases personality by 1. Armor rating by 10. This seems okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's something we can use. I already have one of those. I would prefer if... Maybe that's lame. I would prefer if these items were not as varied. Maybe we can have some variety when it comes to uh, drinks. But when it comes to drugs... Maybe, maybe alcohol, we can have some variety, but when it comes to drugs, you know, two drugs doing the same thing, exactly the same thing. Leader, companion, ability cooldown, I don't, don't use that. Movement speed, uh, melee weapon attack speed. Only for 20 seconds, I mean, that's not terrible. But not something I want to use. Harmful status effect duration. Not something I want to use. So I think in that way they... I mean, I, I suppose some players might be interested in it. But I'm not. So... TTD. I'm not super interested in TTD. Mind attributes. Plus one. Last minute. And no downside. Okay, this is just food. Uh, yeah, that's just a drink. Just the food, just food. Alright. Uh, yeah, we don't care about that. Just movement speed. Base health. It's a little bit heavy, but okay. No, we don't need that. We don't need this. Uh, we don't need the, the vodka. I was like, do you have a lot of food? Maybe we sell a little bit. Sell the ale. We don't need this. Sure. I, I just need to get rid of some stuff because it's just taking up way too much space. Okay. So that seems decent. We can also try to sell some mods. Shock mod is okay. Uh, I guess that's it. that is okay. Plasma is okay. Uh, more plasma is okay. Actually, this is melee only. Melee weapon mod, plasma. We don't care about that. Range weapon skills on the armor. Okay, this is a uh, range weapon spread. I, I guess it's usable. Max size, usable. Uh, weapon range, usable. Firing noise, usable. Uh, better at sneaking. Um, not super interested in that. Physical armor. Doesn't hurt. Melee weapon attack speed. Kind of pointless. And that's kind of usable as well. So you, we can definitely get some use out of those. I'm a little hesitant to sell my amazing light assault rifles. So let's not do that. We can sell one of the pistols. What we can do is maybe sell some of our crappy guns that I never use, like plasma carbine. And uh I don't really plan to use the Deadeye assault rifle now. 
I can just transform one of these weapons into plasma. <laughs> but I suppose that's uh, somewhat limited. So maybe I, I shouldn't do that all the time. Uh, we can just sell some guns. Uh, sell the plasma carabine. So we have pretty thousand credits. Bits. And uh, we can just buy some stuff with that. And she's not selling what I, I sold her. Uh, which is actually quite nice. Because else she would be spammed with that. And this is just... I don't know how many weapon parts I got. Is there a way to check? I got oh, quite a bit. But maybe this is gonna come in handy. Any any uh, human really likes me. Actually, this is the only place where I'm, I really like. The, on the Groundbreaker. And they're giving us uh, good deals. Have you tried but this guy doesn't like me as much. Alright, let's go. Have a look. So, Space's Choice uh, doesn't give me the best deals, but it's still, like, if you see something, like, I really shouldn't hesitate to buy it. Tech kit, tech skills, I, uh, silver tongue kit, I already used one of these. For my armor, it's it's uh, easy to see which one is melee and which one is range, but yeah, they're basically selling, this guy's basically selling stuff that I already have, and he's not giving me access. Because they don't like me. Maybe we should just uh, uh, stick with trading for now. Forty. Forty-one armor, level seventeen. Wow. That's pretty good. Can I buy that from a merchant? If, even if I can buy from a merchant... Oh, what? Uh, I'm probably gonna need more. Dead Eye Assault Rifle. Pretty pricey. This is just uh, gear to sneak around with, I guess. <clears throat> Determination. Wait, what's the cost of this? 24. And I could buy it. Uh, from Bell for 10, which is just crazy good. Oh, what about the medical supplies? What seems to be the problem? Uh, let me see what you got. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck. Okay, you and don't have to grease me up. I already said I want to buy stuff. Uh, maybe we buy this when I'm actually using more of it. Yeah, I mean, this is just crap. Adreno time is crap. Because the junkies are doing it for no reason. Or maybe they are melee. <laughs> actually, what else? Food? I don't, I don't need the food ever. Folks, are you enjoying... Fresh from the gr Okay. So, good discount, we can buy water. I guess we can buy that. Hey, look who it is. What'll it be? Hopefully not something garbage. Aren't you supposed to be the like the the big armor guy here? Okay, you're selling like some trash melee. No one cares. No one cares, okay, mate? Stop offering it. Can't you just give me something that's not garbage? And from the price alone, it very much screams that no. Those were the highest priced items in your inventory, and everything else is probably garbage. Or like, it's very minor improvement. So, kinda like, why bother? Armor mod gadget. Increase your movement speed for a short time when you enter tactical time dilation. This effect is a cooldown. Who cares? Oh, that's melee. Melee mod. Footstep. Range weapon skills. This is just crap. Why are you selling this garbage? Why not sell me something that's not garbage? He's not selling good stuff. All this money I was hoping to use, I can't use it. <laughs> because they don't sell gear that's 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 any good. 
yeah, I'm, I'm not having any of that. Oh, that's just the repair bench. The best loot comes from the vending machine. I, I have like 26 armor helmets. Here we have... Like, that's kind of the same thing. Like, we can buy in a helmet that's like three more armor, but... Meh. Like, do we want to bother with that? Show me the stuff. 41 armor. Uh, that's m that's more like it. Uh, we're just gonna buy this. Uh, yeah, buy the 41 armor. Level 17 stuff. And uh, put it to good use in the inventory of Parvati. 34. 46. And Felix might get the girly armor. 32. 35. Eh. Let's look at you guys. Ah, oh, nice. Look, Felix. Parvati, you get the best shit. I, I don't get the best. I, I'm, the, I'm the, the, the one who gets the worst crap. Obviously. I don't deserve it. But you guys, awesome. Andy Cleo, that's free. Who? Have you given your auntie a hug today? Just stay outside, guys. Ah, oh, that's trash. Riot control armor. Oh, well, I don't see the stats. Oh, that's complete garbage. Anything that's light is basically complete garbage. Complete trash. Alright. Mm, there's not much we can do here. Oh, yeah. Let's pick that. We need another key card. So last time we were here, they attacked me. Totally unjustified. They're just lunatics. But, yeah. Let's talk to Gladys. I can pick that, but not with all of them watching at me. And it's... We don't know if they see me sneaking around. And I think it stands to reason that there's just no way. There's no way I can get away with stealing. Maybe stealing from this guy. Like, hiding over here. But... There's no way we can get away with stealing. I will get spotted for sure. I don't know how I would even uh, On my way. attempt this. All right. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Oh yeah. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Gladys, I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. Oh, my engineer's looking to do some deep cleansing. Wants to impress Chief Jun Lai. What? I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtub for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? What? Rosish, mock apple, cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Oh, uh, yeah. You got a preference, Parvati? An engineer? Might like refurbished ship, scrub parts and all that? <laughs> I don't know. You probably would not know. Okay, whatever. It's not my choice, okay? I'm not even gonna comment on any of these. <clears throat> uh, what would you like, Parvati? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. 
If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and synthamon. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. <laughs> Take your time, dear. A lady son <laughs> says a lot about her. Uh, I guess I wouldn't mind you spelling of roses. How about mock apple and cinnamon? Perfectly sweet, just like a pie. Ooh. Yeah, that could be more subtle. Oh, yeah, let's go with mock up on cinnamon. Let's not go for like trying so hard like you were, I don't know. <laughs> you were lying around in a rose bed. But, you know, you could s smell nice, I guess. And refurbished ship just doesn't seem to be hitting the mark. Uh, Captain. What? I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Okay, so I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. I, I did speak up. About those secrets you asked me to look for, I, I, I did that. What'd you turn up? Why you talk to me like I'm your fucking kid? Lie science. I found the formula for experimental rocket fuel. Seems like pretty advanced stuff. I don't think I don't think I found that. I, I think I would just get busted by lying and sciencing. I found the schematics for a pr prototype weapon from Force. Oh shit! I also sold that weapon. You buying? Peaches and cream. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tidy sum of bits. I acquired some research on Reptidome Mask. Are you interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptidon? Gracious, someone must have hogged them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Right. I found the formula for experimental rocket fuel. Seems like pretty advanced stuff. My stars, what a find. <laughs> fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie. And don't spend it all in one place. Nice. That excursion you sent me on was no cakewalk, lady. Fair's fair. No one ever said old Gladys was a cheapskate. No, ma'am. And I'm not about to let them start. Here. Consider it hazard pay. Wow. 70. Uh, persuasion check. That was not easy. I think that's it. I didn't tell her about the toothpaste. That's plenty, my dear. And more than I thought you'd find. You got a knack for snooping. I ought to just hire you next time, instead of those sublight lunkheads. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your friend Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Okay. What happens to the secrets I told you? I sold you. I'm afraid that's confidential, <laughs> my dear. A matter of customer privacy. I'd wager you'd demand the same were you the one buying. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. You're great. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. It seems like we have you know to pay to up. Me. She just uh, offered extra money for these uh, pieces of uh, information. But we still have to pay up. Uh, so we got a uh, track down Reginald Shaney uh, for VCAR Max. Uh, this is on Monarch. Don't bite the sun. We gotta speak to Parvati. Uh, maybe right now. Oh, you're not Parvati. 
Um, this is a little awkward. Um, oh, this is it. Very serious business armor. I think you should show up in this one. But you mean business. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Don't sell yourself short. Like, this is a teamwork. I hate this shit. Okay, fine, fine. Thanks for the compliment, but still, I'm just one guy. People, like, the people in power, or maybe be like, I'm the captain, but like, um, it doesn't really mean too much to me. Whatever. This is like teamwork, partnership, and don't give me all the credit, okay? Head back to the ship, Parvati. I'm, I'm going home without you. So there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch: dustback casserole, saltuna and Zeno gold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Okay. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Alright, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. You know what? Usually I wouldn't be into it. But I enjoy your company. <sighs> Alright. What the hell, Felix? Stand by my side. Gotcha. Let's see what we have. Find sweetheart. Yeah, that's acquired a science weapon on the groundbreaker. I don't think we can do that. I already had this. And I, I trigger the fight by trying to get the weapon. And we can't get it. It's not possible. Alright. Actually, it just points to her. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Uh, back to your hard-earned wisdom. Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. You mentioned the ground bakers outside of the board's control. Maybe we're gonna ask her about stuff that I already interrogated the guard about, or maybe she's gonna sell, uh, tell me something new. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Uh, what do you, how do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Back to my other question. Go so right I don't ahead, know about sweetheart. this. I don't really wanna... What do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's half the reason I make them, my dear. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Uh, why the board recall Stellar Bay nav keys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their dairy airs. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. I think it makes sense, because uh, for the board, the perception of power is, is, is very important. If people just started believing that the board is weak and can't handle shit, and 
just uh, stop considering it as a, as a... Like, Bor would still have money, but would have next to no perceived power. And people would just say like, hey, Bor is weak, we're just gonna rebel against that. Fuck, they're fucked. They're super fucked. Even their money could be like next to worthless. <clears throat> so, yeah. I, I get why they're doing it, I, I suppose. Not like I agree with it, but still. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Thanks. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. As much as this conversation was pleasant, it didn't really help me acquire the science weapon on the Groundbreaker. Gladys's shop for old records. Looking in Gladys's shop for old records, and it this points at Gladys. Maybe the guy knows something. Still getting acquainted? Can't go wrong if you stick to the promenade. I bought some old records. What kind of business have you and Gladys got running? Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Business. What do you and Gladys do here? Glass year. Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. Oh, man. But I'm standing right here. Nothing to fear. I, sorry again. The sound of Groundbreaker's engines has really got to me over the years. Wow. Great acting, ma'am. <clears throat> Are you just pretending you can't hear me so you don't have to answer the questions? Huh? What? Huh. Now that I heard. You mentioned sublight? No, it doesn't tell me anything. Oh, man. We're not making any progress with weapons from the void. Uh... And Gladys. Find Captain Irion on Scylla. But that's that's a planet. Despite uh, showing it on Groundbreaker, it's on Scylla. So, Gladys just paid me a lot of money. Well, not a lot of bits, actually. But we made quite a few bits uh, with Gladys, and but we still have to pay the ten thousand bits. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No, I have to pay the ten thousand bits. I'll buy the Stella Navki. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Yes. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Do you sell something that might help me? Okay. That's a decent pistol, I guess. Go by category. Oh, Adrena time, no. Adreno, that's yes. What else? No. Maybe. Mac picks are good. And these don't take up any space. Quest items? <clears throat> An old data pod, once used by the Groundbreakers Mardet security forces from the accumulated uh, dust and grime, this hasn't been accessed for over a decade. The old data pad contains 
incident reports from various Mardet security patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust-ups between the crews of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. Responded to a code ID 10T uh, at uh, the Lost Hope, where asked us to bun some back bay a rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with one of the engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the wrong leech back uh, down the base. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we would be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to <laughs> Sunita. <coughs> Had another run in with the uh, wrong leech from the Lost Hope. Don't know. Uh, the uppity piker crawled out of uh, the back base without us noticing. Uh, locked himself into the repair bay off of docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Uh, kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty of some shit while we were trying to talk to him. Had to break off when our shift ended. All heads gonna come out eventually. Okay, what about uh, this data? Cartridge contains the public records of Hephaestus mining outpost on Scylla. It can be viewed using the captain's terminal on the unreliable. So yeah, quest items. I didn't realize that we can buy a quest item here. I just assumed that if if it was possible. Uh, to progress the quest, we would have to uh, progress it via conversation, not just like she's selling a quest item that I can't even ask her about. But I guess that's an option that we have to consider. Anyhow, so the journal... Oh shit. So we have That's local map. What was your family like, Felix? Did you ever know him? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back base. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. I must have been lonesome. Come on, Parvati, who are you talking to? Imagine me pining after my family. Yeah, I suppose that was a touch lonesome. But hey, Ow. look at me now. I made it. I got a ship and everything. Well, you're 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 part of the crew. But yeah. You don't have to worry about that about the damn thing. Huh. Seems like one might be able to go in there. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Okay, how am I supposed to go there? Ooh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. We got a plan. Hey, boss. If you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. Thanks. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Okay, let's just get try to get the weapon. Was it not possible to get the weapon? Oh fuck, it's barred. How do we get in? Huh. But it seems like that's how it works. Is there like a secret entrance here? Oh, there is! That. Somebody was trying to fix this up, but looks like they ain't been here. Outlaw squad leader. Oh, 
You guys are coming? I I'll need some help here. Sorry, I can't. You can't. Let's make it quick. <laughs> I need help. Wow, you. Oh, that's the last of him. Oh shit. I thought I'm gonna die here alone, but you guys showed up. Wow. Be right there. I was trying to go back. There was not much help. Reaper hangar key card. So we can go back here. So, ultimately, I didn't need to have that information. I could have just stumbled up on this place. And let's go with that. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's turn around. Ooh. Uh, I don't think I need to use that now. Just check this back room. Anything here? Other than the prismatic hammer that I will sell because it's a melee weapon. Did I use it a little bit? I mean, I, I, I won't, but I'm just kind of curious what effect it has, if, if anything. I'm not exactly a hammer expert. This probably gets sold. See what we got here. <clears throat> While rummaging through the back base, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that seemed to have uh, been sealed for a very long time. A bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, but I couldn't make heads or tails of my discovery. A prototype hammer. I didn't know hammersmith actually made hammers, but I brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strange it glows. The trail of, it, of its wake lingers even when my eyes are closed. I spend more time on the hammer. Its internal workings are a state of art. <clears throat> Thermal, electrical, and chemical systems all working in harmony. How is this even possible? The weapon is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tampering. Uh, there is a curious energy signature swirling about the weapon, though I have yet to identify the source. They are tastes of copper, and I've lost several teeth. Ooh. Sell this. I've had uh, the most sublime prismatic dreams since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. What the fuck? You seem to have a very special connection with this hammer. Never mind that for now. Good news first, the energy signature matches uh, Blondiot's elusive end rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four, shock, plasma, corrosion and radiation. Now for the bad, in my attempts to neutral the self-destruct functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may have uh, may never function again. Swinging it seems to be the only way of cycling its elemental modes. I must uh, take greater care with future experiments. <clears throat> I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerlings uh, were all for naught. This is no prototype. I am simply too flawed to recognize its perfection. The hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It whispers to me that disorder rules all things, but with a little ambition we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others we can transmute disorder into harmony. And that is the lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. So it seems like this is a hammer that can deal different types of damage and it also pretty radioactive did you know June Light grown up is Tennyson nah she never looked my way I knew of her though who didn't she was just about the busiest woman on the groundbreaker what did folks say about her then tough competent had a glare that'd stop you dead in your tracks <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Alright. 
You looking to shoot targets, varmints, or marauders? I'm here to sell some crap. Not not a lot of crap, just a little bit of crap. So some hammer, maybe a pistol, probably not. Maybe one of these. Elite troop armor. Now we can. I don't know. Do I sell that? Maybe I sell that. Do we need that? I don't think we need that. Good to see. Uh, we're gonna sell the elite troop armor, and that's it. We're good. So after this, we're heading out. So I managed to get the hammer. Review Hephaestus Mining Archive on Halter's Terminal. Search for clues. What? More of the powerful science weapons? Oh. Uh, so... Maybe we should just uh, listen to the uh, video first, but it's kind of suggesting that I might be able to buy other quest items. Oh yeah! Before we head back, sweetheart cakes and... Uh, oh shit. Do I need to look for this? Find sweetheart cakes. Find sweetheart cakes in the old Rizzo's facility in Cascadia at Monarch. What? Wow! You're you're really putting in a lot of effort for this date. Uh wow. I didn't realize we're gonna go to a whole other planet to prepare for your date. I thought we're just gonna pick up something on the groundbreaker. Maybe it's not gonna be super special, but wow. I thought we're just gonna pick up something like I don't know, like a bag of peanuts while we're going home. But holy shit. That's not at all. This just seems like a too much of an effort. Way too much effort. Like, if this is your first uh, date, kind of-ish? I don't know, it just seems like a lot. The expectation is gonna be super high. I mean... The, isn't what she's isn't that what she said that she, you know she just pops over and you know like uh, you know relaxing environment no pressure whatever you know can just kick back at my ship I'm totally into that but but we are like putting in a lot of effort here I mean like I understand soap you know I'm a little uh, surprised that we <clears throat> don't uh, regularly use that you know it would be a good thing to make the uh, the crew happy but still. Empty man, track done, Reginald, Cheney. Oh, we got a shower, like, so, like, we got something, like, come on. If, if we have a shower, like, we should be able to have soap, right? So, yeah, this is on Monarch. Monarch, so we got two missions that leading us to Monarch. Weapons from the Void, we should just listen to this on the ship. Oh, yeah, in from Valus, you have a nav key. Yes, 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 yes. So we gotta talk to Valus. We should. Uh, this is on Scylla. This is not uh, something that's important right now. But what we should do, and what would, what could give me a uh, like a, a job, is have a chat with the sublight crew. I do like that at least the companions are not, not getting left behind. That's kind of dumb. I'll just let myself in. Wait, what? Can I just go in here? I can? But that probably wouldn't... Uh, be... Welcome. You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. Uh, I got a nav key to start bay. Is that job still up for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. What's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again. 
working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. What? Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. <laughs> How unconventional. How unconventional. I can't talk. How unconventional. Asking for a friend. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. What? Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. What the fuck is that shit? A raptodon? Why would be anyone into that shit? What kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. So I'm going after Alta Vitae gas? What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. One million Dangerous bits? stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Yeah, but you definitely uh, got me very interested. You know, at this point, I would be like, you know, I want at least half, right? I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Uh, what am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything. Except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. <clears throat> Honest. Alright, let's go. Uh, well, we got something that's just strictly leading to Monarch now. So, we have three missions, two missions. Well, we gotta have a chat on the ship. We're gonna have some video chats. Seems like we're heading to Monarch now. Night. I still can't believe Armstrong ran the field from the Tuesday zone. Um, yeah. Armstrong's really something. Nearly took a fella's head clean off with a toss ball stick. Yeah, well, he's a hacker. That's what they do. Rangers don't show a shred of mercy in a Darlings game. Bates got tossed out of the game for excessive sportsmanlike conduct in the third half. <laughs> Serves him right. Yeah. Um, Felix, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what a Tuesday zone is. I don't know my tenders from my forwards. Thing is, I just don't understand toss ball. Hey, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'll teach you all there is to know. Uh, great. That's just well. Can't wait. Can't wait to for that. God damn it. Can you just say that you're not into toss ball? That would be fine. Alright. I, I think it might be fine to check in here too. Maybe he has a mission for me. How do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? No, we're not, we're not doing that. So, we're not turning in Phineas Vellas. We're just heading back. Probably going for a sleep. Eventually. And uh, I'm still carrying quite a bit. Uh, one thing... Uh, we might be able to check is... Maybe I don't want to check it. I don't know. Show player helmets, show companion helmets, whatever. Let's go. Do you know what's happening on Terra 1? Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the Renegade company. Let's go, guys. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My what? cargo's worth a lot. All right, let's leave this place. And I think we are quite ready. Wow. 
Provati, you're definitely ready for anything. Felix, I'm not so sure. I'm a little bit split right now. I'm not too interested in taking the robot. Uh, Parvati is going for sh is coming for sure, and it's kind of like split between Ellie and uh, Felix. I feel like Ellie might have uh, Ellie might be more interesting. Felix is truly just uh, like maybe like the goofy guy who like uh, who likes some um, like popular entertainment, and he just didn't really have too much going on before he came uh, on my ship. Like he's fine. I'm just not super. Didn't I request what no the more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? What's up with the cows? You gotta find this out. Anyway, it's a good time to take a break. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.